I would do the intro for this video um, outside, but if you look, it's, um, it's not the nicest weather today. Um, hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, well, not today, this weekend is the second round of the British Pro Cut Endurance Championship. Um, as we, uh, well, as lockdown restrictions are slowly lifting, um, we're now allowed to have two day events so people can stay over at the track. Um, fortunately, I don't have to because I live quite close to the circuit. It's only at Wilton Mill, it's only 20 minutes away, so I won't be needing to do that. But it's not about me, it's about other people. Um, so, yeah, whereas PFI was a one day event, this is uh, over two. Um, so, we've got a test later on today. Um, but <laughs> this weather is. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to today and dreading it at the same time. Going around in the wet is not my strong point, so in uh, that respect it, it worries me. But I want to get better, but at the same time I don't want to get wet. Yeah, this weekend's going to be around a bit different to last time. So last time we was on our own, so I ran my car myself. It was only a one day event, so I didn't really see the point of spending money for uh, a tent um, overnight. Uh, it turns out we did need the support as the engine um, almost blew up, but that's um, done now. So this weekend we're running under Howard's, um, Howard's uh, awning MS team. Um, he is the UK's um, MS Pro Car importer and retailer. Uh, also runs a pretty successful team as well. Uh, won the championship many times in the elite class. Uh, T side overall the past four years. Uh, won Le Mans um, in the cartoon race there, not the actual Le Mans. Um, so yeah, they're well established, well know what they're doing, and they're going to be looking after me just to just gives me peace of mind that I'm not being an idiot. Um, built the car wrong um, in the past. I built clutches the wrong way around and other little things. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing and that kind of things. So. It's, well, I've been doing it a few years now, but it's all still quite new to me. I don't do it enough to remember. <laughs> so they're going to look after me. They're going to make sure the car is all fine. And this leads me to run the team and drive. So I've had my go third now. It's uh, very slippery out there. And although I was dreading it this morning, it's actually really good fun. Um, going through here. And this is normally... Um, that's in the dry, and you can see some puddles there. But everyone's struggling to get it turned in. I've got two people off over there. test day um, but hoping tomorrow the race it's a lot nicer uh, well it's forecast to be nicer and uh, hopefully it'll be dry all the way through but it does say there is going to be a bit of some spots of rain and he was committed through there it could rain tomorrow there's a chance there's a chance from 12 to 4 to the race end um, so this is good practice for us as Three, three of us are not really doing it in the wet um, around here. Well, I, I have many years ago. But I've never driven um, in a way that has been comfortable for me. Uh, today's been comfortable. I've, I've quite enjoyed being out there today, apart from some uh, big lunges, going to some of the hairpins. So yeah, testing is going well.
So that's just done testing for the day. It went better than I thought, to be honest. I didn't think it would be that great. Um, uh, just done all the reprep on the car. It's good to go for the morning. And yeah, in the morning, we go racing. Chariot is good to go. So at the moment, we're set up for a bit of wet running. Um, it looks to be wet for qualifying and um, this is the drive for the race, so we might have to change, um, do a quick change in between. Good to go. I'm not looking forward to this because I think it's going to be a bit of a, a mixed weather race like last time. Um, we had an engine issue again last yesterday. So, see how it goes today. Okay, so that's Dale out first for qualifying. We have 30 minutes to get the job done. We'll try and cycle between our four drivers, but Dale's out first to try and take the release station off the brand new tyres, get everything up to speed, give a bit of a mini shakedown, get comfortable with the new conditions, as yesterday was torrential rain on slick tyres, which is fun, but not necessarily productive. So we'll see how we get up, get on. 30 minutes to get the job done, we'll see where we end up. On the grid, starting 36th. I think we started 36th last time, didn't we? Yes. Well, reasonably happy with that. Uh, Mark's going to start today, um, as he didn't get to go in PFI, as it broke it down. Um, it's still quite wet here, isn't it? Is that wet? Or is it just shiny from the rubber? Yeah. That'll be all right. Yeah, um, yeah six hour race here. It's going to go again.
so 20 minutes in it's gone pretty quickly actually um, not sure where we are not really been not really been paying attention so far but we are quite far down might have started the race and to be honest it's probably a good move so he can he can find somebody who's um, on pace with him and with my uh, find someone who's on pace with him and he'll be able to keep up with them hopefully uh, but before the race he only did three laps in the dry he did all yesterday in the wet but only three laps this morning so he's doing well uh, keeping at it um, the fuel times are a little shorter than we thought it would be uh, I thought they'd be a bit longer I thought it was a more an hour and a half but it's not it's an hour 15 uh, for the leaders though I imagine we're going to be a few laps down on the leaders so we can stretch it out a little bit more but... our endurance race and we've been told that the fuel expectations are going to be about an hour and 50 minutes now it's a little bit shorter than what we're expecting so at PF we're about one and a half hours to one hour 40 minutes so quite a long range for the fuel tank but we're a lot shorter here so what we're going to have to do we're going to have to do a fourth stop so Dale and I are going to choose between ourselves a little bit later as to which one of us is going to finish the race so I'm going to go and grab the pit board now and put out a 15 minute warning for Mark so we'll make sure he sees the board and gives, gives him plenty of time to see that we'll need him in 15 minutes time so it'll be a 50 minute warning he'll put his thumbs up um, count down the 50 minutes we have the timing on the gantry so um, he'll see when he needs to fit in then we'll switch that out for the fuel now and he'll dive in the pit lane Dale will then take over with Callum as his helper and we'll get the second stint underway So a race update, uh, nearly halfway around, uh, nearly halfway through, uh, 15 minutes to halfway through this race. Um, I just done my first, first stint, um, we had a change of plan, Callum didn't go out then, uh, mainly because uh, of the fuel time. So we can only do an hour 15 on the fuel, um, and that means someone's got to go in twice or do a... Um, maybe 40 to 50 minutes towards the end of the race um, that's going to be either going to be me or Ben uh, as it stands at the minute I think we're both at the same on pace to be honest um, we've had some issues uh, the throttle cables popped out twice um, restarting the engines after the pit stop so we've lost two minutes um, from that so let me just add that up how many laps that will be so we've lost about 2 minutes 20 in time due to this, um, 2 extra stops, um, so that equates to about 2.5 laps and, and that would put us 2.5 laps ahead of where we are, so, oh Ben's done as fast as that, 52.1, which is good because the leaders of the race are doing 51.9. So the car has pace, that's pretty good. 
Uh, but two laps, two and a half laps will put us well, 32nd, 33rd, we're currently 36th. Uh, about seven laps down on the overall leader. So very annoying. The leader of our class is actually lapped down on the overall leader, which is remarkable. This is unexpected, muscle car corner here, over here. Then there's a show a little bit of my car. Can't really see this. Yeah. That's what I want my car to be. And also, I won't mind one of these, to be honest. As long as it's a V8. Again, stint number two. Um, it's about an hour 15 left at the moment. Uh, the car's going to go in about 10 minutes' time. I'm going to do the last hour. Now, it's starting to cloud over a bit, but it says it's going to be dry for the remainder, so.
Jersey race update. While I was busy faffing round down there trying to take some cool pics of everybody, we noticed that Dale hadn't come back round. So Callum and I legged it back to the pit lane. Um, essentially, Dale's had a, an issue with um, our primary engine. I mean, twi twin engine carts, you think. Um, they don't really need the second engine. The carts I'm used to racing have had the one. Um, but honestly, when that, that second engine goes, it's a completely different machine. You're, you have lost all power. I struggled to pull away. Callum and I have had the same issue. We struggled to pull away from the fuel bridge, um, even. So, we've all performed what must be the fastest engine change in history. Um, so we've gone back to our original engine at the beginning of the weekends. So I believe we're about 28 minutes to go. So Dale straight back up to speed. Um, we're without a penalty for operating in a pit lane, so that's good. So that would have made the day even worse. But yeah, the, the racing gods are definitely against us. I mean, we had awful luck this time out with PF a few weekends ago. Um, yeah, racing can be cute for all sometimes, and it's got to take this one on the chin. We'll take the car to park, give it a clean up, see what went wrong and see if we can overcome any underlying problems for next time. That's it, race over. All six hours of it. Um, it wasn't our day today. Lots of uh, lots of little issues. Yeah, the throttle cable come out twice. Um, lost two minutes from that. Uh, and then I hit a bump on my last stint, so about 40 minutes left. And the left hand engine just died and um, couldn't get it to a free start annoyingly so fortunately I bought my spare uh, which I didn't do at PFI because um, I don't know what state they're in well I didn't know what state they're in I do now um, so I couldn't fix that problem but yeah fitted the spare engine and managed to do the last half an hour of the race um, yeah just annoying just another little little issue that's, well, two little issues, that's ruined our day. Uh, but the pace is there. Um, ben was doing some really good times, um, like times on par with the leaders overall. Um, so that's, um, all I need to do now is just find that pace in the cart. Other than that, thanks everyone for organizing it. another good event. It was so busy up there today, 46 carts on a smaller circuit and PFI. It was just carnage. Um, I did put my camera on my last stint and my helmet, and I don't know how good that. Um, I don't know how good that will come out, but hopefully I can get some uh, on board and make some better content for you guys. But other than that, that, yeah, thanks everyone for organising it and. I hope to see everyone at Clay, depending on how what's wrong with the engine. Um, one's borderline knackered and the other one is a small issue maybe. So yeah, see you in the next one.